don't know me already, my name is Kimberly and I am a rule follower. I love rules. I, if you know anything about the Enneagram, I am a stereotypical one, which also means that I really hate it when people break the rules. Um, I especially hate it when I'm driving. Ugh, I think that traffic rules are necessary. I feel like most of them make sense and um, it's really important that people follow them. Um, but I will admit that when it comes to rules, if there, are, if I don't understand why there's a rule there or I don't agree with the reason behind it, then I am pretty okay with breaking him. Now I'm pretty sure that uh, you guys know some people who also feel like Christianity is just a bunch of rules. Uh, people who don't know much about the Bible typically still know the Ten Commandments and they just see them as a bunch of rules, a bunch of old rules. Well, today we're going to look at a different part of the Bible. Um, and we're going to look at things a little bit differently. So um, our Bible passage for today is Jeremiah 31 verses 32 through 40. And I encourage you to read this all with your family. Um, but for the sake of time, I'm going to just read verses 31 through 33. So the time is coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their forefathers when I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. So the question is, what are the old and the new covenants that this passage is talking about? Well, the Old Covenant is the law, the law that was given to the people through Moses. It was an extensive list of rules telling them what they should do, what they could not do, and um, also rules of what they should do when they break the, rule, the law. Because um, there were two problems here. The first problem was that no one could ever perfectly obey the law, and that's why there was this need for animal sacrifices. Because as Paul says in Romans 6.23, that all, everybody, has sinned and fallen, oh sorry, Romans 3.23 says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, and 6.23 says that the wages of sin is death. So, um, so first there's that, and then the other problem that the Jews faced was that they kept forgetting the reason behind the, the rules, this law. They kept forgetting the meaning behind it all. They forgot that God had given them this law because he loved them, because he wanted to keep them safe and wanted what was best for them, and he wanted to set them apart and that they would be holy and be his people. Um, because they kept forgetting, uh, following the rules started to become uh, no longer important, and um, so they just started doing what everybody else around them was doing. Um, now, I think that we can sometimes, um, we can feel the same way as the Jews about certain rules in our lives. Like when you first got your driver's license or when you first get your driver's license, um, you'll probably obey all the rules in, um, uh, that were in the driver's manual that you had learned. But over time, you're going to probably start to see certain speed limits that's maybe not as important and you might even see some stop signs that aren't really necessary anymore. So, um, so in this passage, um, we also find out about this new covenant. So what is this new covenant that God is telling the people through Jeremiah? Well, it's Jesus. It's um, what happens when Jesus comes into the world and he dies for our sins, right? Um, and in addition to this new covenant that we no longer have to um, follow the law and, um, and we no longer... Um, have to do all these animal sacrifices. Um, now we have Jesus who died for us instead, and we also have the Holy Spirit who writes the law on our hearts and on our minds. So at, um, with the new covenant, the law is no longer external. It's no longer uh, a list of rules that are written on stone or parchment. Now we have instead a set of values that are written on our hearts through the Holy Spirit um, because Jesus, um, because we have a relationship with Jesus and um, we know that he wants what's best for us and that it's all for our good and for his glory. So when Jesus was asked, what are the two greatest commandments, right, in Matthew 22, 
he tells them that um, the first one is love the Lord your God with all your hearts and with all your soul and with all your mind. And the second one is to love your neighbor as yourself. Um, and he even goes so far as to say that all the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. So um, what I want to challenge you today is um, to see the meaning behind the law and behind the rules and behind everything that we learn about that is good for us, that God wants for us in the Bible, right? To stop seeing it as a bunch of rules. We don't need to follow them to earn our salvation. Instead, we just need to rest in this new covenant of Jesus and that we can trust that he has um, changed our hearts and written his law on our hearts so that we can follow him in relationship. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you around.